Okay, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be brewing up another brew in a bag type brew. Um, it's an all grain recipe. Um, this is going to be a Vienna Citra Smash. Um, so if you're not familiar with the term smash beer, uh, or you've heard it and not quite sure what it is, basically it stands for single malt and single hop uh, beer. So um, the single malt I'm going to be using in this brew is Vienna malt. So I've got two and a half kilos of Vienna malt. This is a 12 litre batch, by the way. So two and a half kilos of Vienna malt. And um, so that's my single malt. I'm using in this recipe and the single hop I'm going to be using is citra. So I've got a bag of citra hops here. I'm going to be using some of it um, during the boil and some of it as a dry hop. Um, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to mash this in my uh, kettle uh, for 60 minutes, 65 degrees. Um, and yeah, and then I'm going to boil it, add my hops. Um, and that's pretty much it, it's very straightforward. The yeast I'm going to be using is this California Common yeast from Cross My Loof. Um, so it says a room temperature yeast for all crisp la uh, lager steam beers. So um, Vienna is often used in kind of lager beers, but um, that's not really the reason I'm using it. I, I, I want this to be a nice crisp beer. Um, and this is also a yeast I've not used from Cross My Loof, so I thought I'd give it a try out on this, uh, this particular brew. So um, should be fairly straightforward. I'm gonna get this uh, mashed in my kettle, uh, brew in a bag style. So um, I've got 16, just over 16 liters of water heating at the moment in my kettle. So it's kind of full volume, no sparge method, simple as it gets. Um, I'm gonna be doing a 30 minute boil. So mash for 60 minutes, boil for 30 minutes, uh, cool it down with some Whirlpool um, hops and um, that's it, transfer it to my fermenter. So I'll take a little bit of footage as I go um, and that's it really, so let's get brewing. Okay, so 60 minutes is up, or just over, actually. Um, so time to move the grains. I'll just try and lift this out. And into my strainer. And at the same time, just get the heat on, bring this, or start to bring it up to a boil. Right. right, this has now been boiling for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. <clears throat> so um, I've got my cooling coil in just to sanitize it. Um, I've got a bit of a protoflock tablet, which I'm gonna bung in now. So I'm roughly about 15 minutes to the end. Well, that's my where my first hop edition's going in which is five grams of citra. So this is gonna go in for 15 minutes, and then I'm just gonna switch it off. Right, okay, so that's the 15 minutes up, so I'm gonna take this off of the heat and add in my final hop addition second and final hop addition, which is 35 grams of citra. So that goes in there. I'm gonna start cooling it down.
we're back ready for the tasting. Um, so this has been in the bottle now for probably about well over a month, probably getting on for six weeks conditioning. So it's had a good, good amount of time to condition. It's been out in the shed in fairly cool conditions. Um, so I think with this California ale, it recommends longer conditioning. Might be making that up, but I seem to remember it saying that on the pack. So I've been in no rush anyway to open these up. I've had some other beer to get through. So uh, yeah, I've had a decent amount of time to condition. So very simple recipe. It was the Vienna malt and the citra hops with the California ale yeast. So what are we expecting here? Pretty pale ale, I guess, and um, with a nice citra, citrusy punch. Um, so let's have a look at it in the glass. Pretty well carbonated. I've used about a good teaspoon of dextrose in the bottles um, for carbonation as uh, it felt like the sort of beer that might benefit from a bit of carbonation. It's always a bit hit and miss, carbonation levels, particularly in a bottle like this, if you're bottle conditioning. Um, yeah, and uh, I don't really care how it turns out, to be perfectly honest. Carbonation wise, I'll drink it, whatever. But as you can see, pretty decent carbonation. It's a lovely light golden color. Hopefully you can get that um, on the camera. Um, maybe a little bit of haze in there, just a tiny bit of haze. It's not crystal clear, but you know, don't really care about that either. Nice frothy head on the top. And I can already tell you, it's a nice waft of citra hops. So yeah, kind of what you'd expect from the aroma. There's a nice citra, citrusy, piney almost. My wife would describe it as cat's piss type smell to it, which um, sounds disgusting, but um, yeah, you know, you know that kind of smell you get from these sort of American um, hops like citra. Um, but you know, I kind of see what she means, but yeah, it's, it's a nice mixture of kind of citrusy spice kind of smell. Um, I don't know, not very good at describing these things, but um, it smells lovely anyway to me. There's a bit of malt, uh, you can smell a bit of malt, kind of a bit of sort of biscuity sort of malt um, aroma coming through as well from that Vienna. Um, and as I say, looks wise, it's a nice golden colour, maybe with a very slight tinge of like pinky red sort of colour, I would say. Um, not much, but it's it's more golden than anything. It's a light golden colour. It's a cracking looking beer, if I may say so myself. Um, yeah, so 10 out of 10 on the looks, I would say. Carbonation's worked out pretty well and aroma-wise, spot on. So what does it taste like? Mm. <laughs> well, if you like Citra, you definitely like this beer. Oh, it's lovely. Um, so one thing I would say is it's really nice and crisp. That yeast has worked perfectly um, with this, I think. Um, it's almost lagery, I would say, in, you know, it's that, that sort of nice crisp sort of lagery type thing you get with the, uh, the American, the California ale um, yeasts. And it's worked really well. Um, Vienna's really nice, actually. Um, it's very, I mean, it's, it's not malty, but, you know, um, how am I going to describe it? Um, it's a bit of sort of grainy biscuity-ness to it. Not too much. It's not, it's, it, it's kind of nice in the background. It's not overpowering anything. It's just a really nice base malt, I would say. Hmm. I don't know why it doesn't get used more. Or very rarely see recipes with using Vienna malt on its own. Or unless I've just kind of overlooked it. Um, but that's really nice. Um, I know they use it kind of in um, well Vienna lagers and things like that, but very rarely see it used as a base malt on its own, like in a smash beer. Um, and I'm glad I tried it out because actually it's really nice. Um, and the citrus work perfectly with that malt. Um, I've got the inspiration from this from um, a Cheeky Peak Facebook page, which is, I think it's an Australian um, brewery suppliers and they've got 
go check out their Facebook page. They must have like, I don't know, well over a hundred kind of recipe cards on there for extract, excuse me, and all grain recipes. Um, really good for inspiration. So um, that's where I took this inspiration from, this Vienna Citrus Mash. And I'm pleased I brewed it because um, it's really nice. I had kind of a vision of me sitting in the garden in the sunshine, drinking a few of these, and it's a lovely sunny afternoon. Um, first proper sunny day this year we've had um, uh, this spring. So I'm gonna take this out into the garden and I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this in the sunshine. And yeah, it's a perfect beer for that. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad I did it. Um, I'll definitely do it again. So yeah, if you're looking for something different, a nice smash beer, give the Vienna malt a try. Can't go wrong with something like Citra, so, and that seems to have worked perfectly. And the yeast has really worked well with this. So yeah, I'd recommend um, giving that a try in something like this as well. So yeah, it's, um, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. I'd definitely do it again. And um, happy days. Cheers, guys.